Video 8 is the fourth row in the tool picker. In the fourth row of the tool picker, we have the selection tool. If you'll notice with the settings, you have the rectangle, you have the circle, you have the polygon, you have the freehand, you have the magic wand, and you have the paint area. And each one will change these particular dials. Now, if we go into the rectangle, you'll see that you have just the feather, and that means that when you make the selection, you can have it feather out a certain degree, and this will make it go easily into a painting if that's what you have. Now, let's do the type is the rectangle. Let's make it by just going to the top and bringing it down, and you'll see the marching ants. This means it's a selection. Now the mode is replaced, so if I were to make another rectangle, it's just going to replace the one I made. But if I want to add to this, I would click that mode and then make a rectangle, and you can see that it's added. The subtract is, of course, the same way for the mode. It will subtract. Now the difference We'll just come in here and intersection will make it change like this. So you can have fun playing with it. If you want to clear the selection, you can clear it here and it all goes away. Let's say we make this. You can either clear it here or you can go up into edit and choose deselect all or do your keyboard shortcut of control D. Now since we have this done as a selection, we can take our oil brush, click in here, let's go up to 400, click OK, and then I can just paint the selection without going outside the dotted lines. That is so cool. Then if you go back into selection, you can clear it or you can press Control D. Now all of these are going to do some fun things. Let's clear. This can make a circle. Again you can use the Add and add to it the subtract and you get, can get some funky designs which you can paint. Now let's go into the polygon and I can click here, click, click, and click again and because I had it on subtract, it didn't show. So let's go back to the replace. And I'm going to click, 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 click. And I now have a new selection, which I could take my fill tool and simply click inside of it. And I have it fully painted. Now if I go back to the selection tool, I can clear the selection, and there I have it. Now there are some fun presets that you'll want to use. I like the soft square. As you can see, it's very, very soft and kind of rounded. I can take a different color, do my fill tool, tap, and it's now filled in to the selection. You'll notice it didn't fill where it already had been filled. This is what the fill tool does. If you wanted this to fill in, then you should put it on a new layer. Now let's go back to the selection tool and clear the selection. So play, have fun, choose all of these, see what they do. If you're used to them in another art program, great. You'll know what this already does. So let's go now into the transform tool. 
And if I click on this, this frame comes up. I can grab a corner or any one of these nodes, bring it in, make it smaller, bring it back out. When it goes to a curved arrow, I can rotate it. And when I have the four-sided arrow, I can move it. And then all I have to do is tap out of it and it's done. Now the color sampler, if I click on it, and I have green down here in my color wheel, if I click on the blue, it automatically changes. Another neat thing this can do is if I click with the color sampler on my window outside of the canvas, I can change its color easily. So now let's go into the text tool. I'm going to want to clear the layer. Now with the text tool, there are no presets, so we can go out. And you're going to see that your text size is right here. Just click on it. And we have it at 72, but this can be changed. I can put 150 in here and click Enter. I can change the font to whatever I want. And these are toggle switches. It could be bold or not. Let's make it bold. You can have it italic. You can underline it. You can align it to the left, the center, or the right. And you can reset the tool. Now I'm going to go back up to 150 so you can see this better. Press Enter. I'm going to make it Arial Black, and I'm going to make it Bold, and let's go down to a Black, and I'm going to click on the canvas, and type my name, and say I don't like it, I can do Shift Home, highlight it, I can change it, I can make it italic, I can underline it, and I can even change the color. Or I can reset it. And then go back up to 150, press enter, and it's back. Now you'll notice in the layers it has a T, that means it's a text layer, and it, whatever you do text, it will always be on its own layer. And when you click out, there it is. Now you'll have to go to another tool to get out of that layer. And if you want to change it again, say something still isn't right, you can go back to your text tool, highlight it, and then changing it again, and simply click out. In the next video, we'll be going into the sticker and sticker spray.